Thanks for joining me for another episode of Bitcoin and Coffee. I'll be your host, Eugene Forrest. So here on Bitcoin and Coffee, we got a couple things to talk about, but as always, let's start with the marketplace. Today we got BTC coming in at around $1,023.99 at the moment. Not bad, BTC above $1,000 always makes me happy. Ethereum coming in around $1,279, still holding good, close to the $13 mark. We have Litecoin coming in at 385. That's still a little low for what I would consider, considering how much adoption we're starting to see in Segwick. But I think it's just uh, late for people to be jumping on board, uh, or early for people to be jumping on board. I think as we start to see 65 and 70 percent, close to the threshold of 75 percent for activation of Segwick on the Litecoin network, we'll start to see uh, the price increases that I was talking about investing. But it's always better to start now so that you can start accumulating. Uh, Dash breaking twenty dollars. That's amazing. I got twenty dollars and six cents at the moment. Um, I'd like to see it stay up here. Uh, we'll get to Dash in a moment, though. And we're seeing a Monero, Monero rolling in at $13.11. Zcash at $33.04. And MadeSafe rolling in at $0.20.8. Cents. So that's not bad. Not bad. We're seeing big gains all over on cryptocurrency. Uh, BTC is still holding its value. Uh, the marketplace is looking good. So let's talk about Dash. Dash's platform 12.1 is in effect, but right now at this time they're sharing platform 12.0 and 12.1 for a period for the transition. 100% of the miners have switched over, most of the nodes have, but there is um, like instant send isn't working right now because both platforms are sharing. So there's a few discrepancies of what's happening and what you can use and the, the platform's functionality will come fully into effect once they're over on 12.1 which I think is just a few weeks away and speaking of a few weeks away dash is about to have a mining difficulty increase of approximately 7% on March 4th so I wonder how this will affect the price will this cause the price to stay steady at around $20 because the miners will want more money for their work or will the difficulty creating less coins coming out uh, mean that there will be a price decrease so, hmm, something to think about. Next here on Bitcoin and Coffee, uh, let's talk about the EFT that's coming up. It's on March 11th. Uh, I know I've talked about it a few times, but I really do believe that this will take effect. I believe that we could see all kinds of volatility when this takes hold and the price of BTC bouncing all around for the first little bit um, because it's going to be so new. Uh, I definitely would say invest by BTC today, hold, and wait and see how things work out with this ETF. If you like what you heard here on my channel today, go ahead, subscribe, like, and link my videos. Below, I have affiliate links to get you started at Genesis Mining, at Coinbase, get you some free BTCs and free doggies. As always, my emails are listed if there's something you'd like to talk about or see on my show. Or just go ahead and hit me up. I love to chat. And as always, people... Remember, keep your Bitcoin safe.